You may have heard the song from Cabaret, Money Makes the World Go Round. Money doesn't make the world go round. Selling makes the world go round because in your business, my business, anybody's business, nothing's going to happen until somebody sells something. So Simon Sales Quiz. On average, you may not be a salesperson, I appreciate that, what percentage of salespeople fail to achieve their sales target? Folks, it's not very high. What do you reckon? 51%. Most, nearly over half, are salespeople. You need to be aware, I need to warn you, I am different to the other speakers out there. I don't just trot out the same old shallow, motivational rah-rah as everyone else. Everything I talk about is based on research and facts. For example, the fact that what you've been told about having a positive mental attitude is wrong. That what you've been told about the power of setting goals is wrong. And the fact that billionaires with a B don't set goals, they do something entirely different. And I'm the only speaker in the world who tells his audiences that Roger Bannister, contrary to popular opinion, did not break the four minute mile barrier. We have learnt more about the brain in the last five to ten years thanks to neuroscience advances than we have in the whole of human history. We now understand more about the brain and how it functions, why it likes some things and accepts them, and why it dislikes some things and rejects them, such as some salespeople and some sales proposals. And I think one of the key things that's going to be part of the future of successful selling is what I call brain-to-brain -brain selling. A better understanding of the brain inside our customer's head and how we can influence it and make it think certain things and take certain actions in a way that is most efficient. Confused brains don't buy. Don't overload the customer's brain with too much complexity and too many choices. Limit choices if you want the customer to make a buying decision. If you confuse them, you're going to lose them. Now, when you first hear these questions, you might think, well, they sound a bit basic. And I make no apologies for that fact. Because if you want to have a successful business, you have to become brilliant at the basics. It's a concept I learned when I was studying traditional Japanese karate, a style called Wadarayu. And I'd reached a reasonably senior level, and I was invited to go to an advanced karate class with 8th Dan Sakagami Sensei. And I was so excited, advanced. And anybody who's done traditional Japanese karate will tell you every single karate class starts with the basic techniques. And the advanced class was no different. The first hour of a three hour advanced class was going over and over and over the basic techniques. And I should have known better, but I think I was getting a bit bored and frustrated and I had a face probably like a smacked backside. And Sakagami Sensei noticed and called the class to a halt, yummy! And he strode up and stood in front of me and stared into my eyes. And he said to me, do you find basics boring? No, Sensei, I lied. <laughs> and he glared at me and said, if you build a house on weak foundations, it will fall over. Weak basics, weak karate. Strong basics, strong karate. And he said, do you understand? Yes, I said, truthfully. And then he said, wax on, wax off. <laughs> no, no, he didn't. I've just, I've just, I've just made, I've made that better. The last thing I want to say, focused action, focused action, focused action. And I look forward to seeing every single person in this room flying to new heights of success, happiness, fulfillment, and prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck and good selling. Thank you.